Welcome to this video on the reactions of strong nucleophiles with aldehydes or ketones. In this first reaction, acetone is reacting with sodium borohydride. We can redraw the sodium borohydride as Na plus and BH4 minus. The hydrogen atoms are more electronegative than the boron atom, so the concentration of electron density is shifted to the hydrogens, making them hydrides, nucleophilic sources of hydrogen, rather than the acidic or delta positive sources of protons that we're perhaps more used to seeing. The nucleophilic hydrides are attracted to the electrophilic delta plus carbon of the carbonyl. As the hydrogen carbon bond forms, the CO pi electrons break, with the pi electrons shifting to the carbonyl oxygen. The nucleophilic hydride has added, with its electrons, to the carbon atom. Simultaneously, an O minus formed, and BH3 resulted. Notice that the boron atom is neutral, but lacks an octet and has an unfilled p orbital. The boron can react with nucleophiles like the alkoxide. Notice also that the BH3 has three remaining hydride equivalents, which can react with other electrophiles, effectively repeating the first step of the reaction. Note that H- from a source like sodium hydride would not work in this reaction. Hydrides on their own are strong bases but are weakly nucleophilic. In the next step of the reaction, we add hydronium, H3O+. Now you can't get hydronium on its own in a bottle. What we do is a dissolve an acid in water, such as hydrochloric acid or ammonium chloride. An acid-base reaction occurs with an equilibrium that favors the products. There are many possible nucleophiles for this reaction, including the sodium borohydride you've just seen, Grignard reagents, where the R group can be alkyl, aryl, alkenes, or alkynes. Organolithium species can also work. In each reaction, the more electronegative species is nucleophilic and reacts via its electrons with the electrophilic carbonyl. Thinking about this retrosynthetically, anytime you see an alcohol, which could have three different groups on it, any of these groups could have been used to form the starting material. For example, the phenyl might have been the nucleophile, meaning the starting electrophile would have been an aldehyde, acetaldehyde. Or the starting materials could have been a hydride nucleophile in the form of sodium borohydride and a methyl ketone. The last possibility is if the methyl group had been the nucleophile with a different aldehyde starting material, benzaldehyde. So in this video, we've seen the reactions of strong nucleophiles with electrophilic carbonyls specifically aldehyde and ketone examples.